Hey everybody, welcome to the Weekly Wisdom. I'm Dean Graziosi. If you're new to the site, welcome. Browse around, check it all out, make some new friends. If uh, we don't have your first name and email, make sure you enter it up over here. Uh, we'll send you some, uh, we'll send you one of my New York Times bestselling books for free, but most of all, we'll get to remind you every single week when we do a weekly wisdom. Uh, last week was awesome, wasn't it? We had Linda. If you didn't watch last week's, you can also click over here. It says weekly blog. You can watch Linda. I was at one of my live events and she was just a really great girl, stood up and shared. I loved her energy. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to do a weekly wisdom. Why don't you come on? And uh, she shared some stuff. One thing she said that stood out that I want to talk about today, she said, and she said this off camera, and I'm glad she said it on camera. She said, you know how I got successful when I didn't want to do something? That's when I knew it was time to do it. Man, isn't that powerful? As simple as that is, isn't that powerful? But before I get to that, I want to share a little story with you. Uh, last week was cool. I haven't seen uh, my nephew, Tanner. Uh, he's 20 years old. And my brother-in-law, Rob, I haven't seen him in over a year. You know, life gets busy. They live, they live in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, I live, obviously live uh, on the West Coast here in Arizona. And... Uh, so they were going, they're LA Dodgers fans, and they were going to watch LA play San Fran. And I couldn't, we couldn't coordinate something like the heck with it. I want to fly up and uh, spend the day with them. It was literally just the day. I got there in the morning, left that night, but I got to spend the day with them. My nephew grew into such a, a great young man, and I was able to, you know, inspire him with a couple things, and he shared, and, and all this good stuff. But I'm telling you this for a reason, because so many of you know that I wear my grandmother's ring around my neck. Um, and you know, a couple weeks ago we said, find your own talisman, right? Find your own something to remind you of your why. You know, I remember my why. I got my grandmother's ring and I got the pictures of my kids around my neck, right? So for me, when I'm having a tough day or I gotta remember why I'm working so hard or want it and want to continue to go, man, it's right here, right? So we all, and you could probably hear it rattling with the microphone. I tell you that because you know how important it is. Listen to this, I fly, I get up really early, I fly up to San Francisco, I go right from driving to the airport, flying in the plane, I land, I drive to the hotel where they are, I pick them up, we drive to the stadium. So now I'm hours in, um, but excited to see them. I get out of the taxi cab at the, at the San Francisco Stadium, AT&T Stadium. I get out and this necklace breaks and my grandmother's ring falls, hits my foot, and shoots out into the middle of like a five lane, crazy busy traffic in downtown San Francisco. I freak so bad, it's around, around my neck or in my possession or in my pocket every day pretty much since my grandmother passed away and I watched it go and it was gone. You know, I got so freaked out, this means so much to me. Uh, besides the meaning of my grandmother and been wearing it, but it means this is my why. In so many cases, this has been the reminder to power through. I literally ran out in traffic, didn't care about cars honking at me. They thought I was probably the biggest crazy man on the planet. And I was in the street for 10 minutes, just stopping traffic, not caring, freaking out, and I found it. And uh, for those of you who are new, that might sound like a really personal, crazy story. But for those of you who have been with me forever and understand what my grandmother meant to me, what this ring means to me, and the power of why, you know, when you place that much importance on your why and that much importance on a, a, an object or something you can relate to that snaps you back in, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the things that power you through the rough times. Now, getting back to Linda, those are the things that when you don't want to do something, that's when you do it. So I want you to do something for me this week. I want to give you a little assignment. Linda sparked something. Everybody's got their different way. A couple weeks ago, we had Joe Polish and Dean Jackson talking. They gave some great information, didn't they? But um, when she says off camera, she told me when she didn't want to do something, when it seemed hard, when she was scared, that's when she knew it was time to do it. So I want you to think this week. This week, when you take these skills and put them into action, stop just thinking about real estate. If you haven't made offers, make offers this week. If you don't have a real estate agent yet, get one this week. Get on the phone, follow our strategies, listen to the conference calls, go to back to your boots on the ground training that you learned, or your success academy, or in my real estate book, or your 30 days of real estate cash. Get a real estate agent, make offers this week, okay? When you don't wanna do it, I want you to immediately write it down. What is it that I don't want to do? And I want you to write down why you don't want to do it. I would bet to say is, I'm busy, I'm afraid, I'm scared, I don't sound like I'm professional. All of those things are part of what Dean Jackson and Joe Polish specifically said, that's building your courage muscle. You can't gain the confidence to keep going until you build and just get, find the, conf, the, the courage to just dive into something. Because here's what I know, it's not the education. I know it's there, it's the best on the planet. It's you finding the courage to overcome.
So that's what I want you to do this week. Every time you think of something in real estate that you go, I let me do it tomorrow, or I'm not sure I want to do it. I want you to immediately write down what it is and underneath, underneath it immediately write down why you don't want to do it or how come you're thinking you don't want to do it. I guarantee it's got nothing to do with education. It's got to do with being scared, being nervous, first time. Screw all that. Excuse my language, but the heck with that. You got to try. You got to get the courage because if you mess up, all that means is you know what not to do on the second call. That's the lesson and that's the homework for this week. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you have an amazing week. Talk to you soon.